Hi, I'm Will. Uh, I work for the Texel Sheep Society um, and I'm here to show you how to do a California milk test uh, on sheep. A California milk test or a CMT um, is an on-the-spot test used um, to uh, quantify the level of mastitis uh, present in sheep milk. Um, this test is quick, easy uh, and very cheap uh, to use um, and it's very closely correlated to the somatic cell count uh, test routinely used in dairy cows, um, but without the need to send milk samples away to, uh, away to the lab and await results. Um, so all you need for this test um, is a CMT paddle, like this, um, and CMT liquid, um, and gloves, of course. So we're just going to milk the ewe on the left-hand side into the corresponding left-hand side well of the tray, putting a good amount in each. Like that. So we have about three mils left in the bottom of the well. When the milk reaches this line here, you know that there's uh, three mils left. We're now going to add three mils of CMT liquid into each well. And then begin mixing. And as you start mixing around, it's very important to start grading as soon as you can. And you can see immediately there that this one's going a lot thicker than that one. When I'm swirling around, you can see this side um, uh, gravitating towards the middle of the tray. Um, and you can tell that that's a, a three. And this one here, the consistency staying almost exactly the same as the original consistency. So that's a zero. Once you're sure of the score, just tip it away. And then rinse thoroughly. And the basis of this test is aimed to uh, assess the consistency of the mixture. Uh, so essentially, the thicker the mixture goes, uh, the more mastitis there is uh, in the milk. It's very important to uh, begin grading it uh, as soon as you can, otherwise the mixture may dissipate and um, it's, the aim is to categorise the mixtures into five different categories, zero to four. Zero being no presence of mastitis, four being a very high presence of mastitis. Uh, once you've rinsed away the paddle, um, it's very important then to throw away the gloves um, and put new gloves on for the next year.